What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Dream SMP survival map for single player in Minecraft just to try it out and see all the features. So perhaps one of the most popular and most iconic multiplayer maps on YouTube is Dream SMP, that's literally the biggest survival server where most of the popular content creators are playing nowadays. Well, I wanted to check out the map. Without access to the server, it's kind of impossible, right? Well, this is a little bit dated, so don't expect to be having everything super up to date but if you want to kind of take the map for a spin and try out for yourself the link will be down below i'm going to show you how to install it and we're going to take a quick showcase around the map so basically this is a recreation of the dream smp you can play this on the server with your friends or just generally explore it in single player and i stumbled across this and i found it super awesome because i always wanted to kind of test out the map and i don't usually watch the dream smp actively but some of the biggest youtubers are on the dream smp tommy in it dream george not found sapnap all these huge minecraft YouTubers, which so many of you guys probably watch, play on this server. So I thought we should try out the map today and give it for a spin. So like I said, this is five months old, so it's a little bit outdated. And at the time, it was 70% complete. So don't expect to see everything from the past few weeks or months. This is a little bit dated. But we just go ahead and press download map, and it will take us to a media file link. So then we press download, and we're going to download this to our files. Now, as you can see, this file, you won't be able to see behind my camera, but this file is 400 MB. So it's quite a large map. It will take a little bit of a while to download. There's so many cool structures and things in this map which you may recognize from the videos. So if you actively watch all these YouTubers videos, no doubt you'll notice some pretty iconic places on the map. Now I'm not sure if it has everything from the manhunt videos or if that's recorded on a different map or part of the server. I'm not sure but I really want to take a look at this map and just see all the features. So we're going to let it download and I'm going to show you how to install it. It's just basically the same as installing a normal Minecraft map. So once it's downloaded we're going to go to our folder and we're going to extract it. You can open it with whatever you open zip files with. I have WinRAR, which is completely free. You can use WinZip or anything to go inside the folder. And then we're going to right click and we're going to copy or cut this save files folder. Then we're going to go into our .minecraft folder. To get to this folder, you just type in app data, percentage sign, app data, percentage sign, press enter, then go into .minecraft and then saves. And we're going to paste this into the Minecraft saves folder. Okay, so here we have the dream SMP, but that's how to install it into the official Minecraft launcher. So put this in your saves folder and let's launch Minecraft and try out the Dream SMP map. If you wonder where all my maps come from, from all my videos, this huge list, you can see just how many maps I have. A lot of these I actually use in things like my shaders videos, like Los Angeles Real City builds, some of the maps here from Forge Labs' videos, Hogwarts Castle, Atlantis, Half-Life Alex. I have a lot of really cool mods and maps inside this folder, guys, as well as all my shader packs, which you'll see over here, like Sonic Ever shaders, which I use for the shaders videos. Okay, so let's jump into Minecraft shall we? So here we are, we're in single player and we've just installed the Dream SMP map. So let's go ahead and find it, shall we? And it's going to be pretty hard to find in my huge map list. Here we go, Dream SMP V4. So we're going to play this selected world. Let's jump into the Dream SMP world. Almost like we're playing the server, but in a time capsule, like back in the 1990s or something. So this is five months old. Okay, here we are, we're in the Dream SMP world. Now, you'll have to try and ignore like the whole visuals in the game. I am actually running a shade right now. I'm running Sonic Ethers. I don't think I'm running a texture pack though. I'm not sure, but doesn't the world look beautiful? So these are all the credits. I guess these are the people that built the map. And I guess they do need some serious credit because this is like an entire recreation of the Dream SMP. So let's take a tour, shall we? So this is kind of like a lobby world. Okay, let's go check this out. There's tons and tons of command blocks here. And we're kind of just imprisoned in this giant wall. Interesting. Kind of gives me Hunger Games vibes, like I'm ready to go be let out into some arena. Okay, what's through here? George's house. So this is kind of like a map room, right? So it teleports us to all the key locations. So we have George's house. George not found. We have the Snowchester zone. We have Eric's castle. We have Ponk's castle. Punza's home. Fundy's home. So these are all the YouTubers that play on the server, basically. Bad's mansion. So that's Bad Boy Halo. Logstead Shire. The community house, or the remains, with Dream skin over here. We have the embassy. I think that's Tommy in it skin. Then we have Techno's Camp, Techno Blade, and the Lemanberg Remains. Okay, so these are all players and locations. So let's just go ahead and go on the first one, right? Let's just select George's house. Okay, so let's see George Not Found's house. The Minecraft map looks really beautiful, though. I really love playing with shaders. And you can already see over here some things like in the sky and stuff. So this map's pretty cool. Let's check out this house. So this is George Not Found's house. So we can wander across this bridge. Pretty nice build. Kind of like a mushroom house. Reminds me of some kind of hobbit house. He has nothing in his barrels. Okay, let's take a look. Now, what I like about this 
this map is you can walk back to the spawn. So after checking out everything, we can go back to the hub and have a look at other stuff. So here's this Hobbit Shire. So George not found Hobbit Shire. Unfortunately, inside we can't see anything unless we pull out a torch. Okay. And what's cool about Optifine and the shaders that we're using is they have dynamic lights. So when we put a torch out, it actually lights up the area around us. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's nothing in these chests. And he has a lot of storage, right? This house is actually super cool. Like, I actually really like this house. Not the same can be said for the interior, though. Not really impressed by the interior. But George's house is pretty sweet. Okay, let's check out some of the others. Back in the spawn hub. The next one is Snowchester. Oh, snap. This looks like something of Vikings. So this is some kind of like... Damn, this has, this this is like a city. This is absolutely huge. So the whole place is just covered in torches. If you're reading this, the building is not done. But will be so in version 5. Well, version 5 never came out, unfortunately. Damn, these guys really love ender chests, huh? There's a lot of storage inside here. So this is pretty cool. This is kind of like a castle build. It's like a... It kind of reminds me of like a Skyrim city. Oh, this is glass. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Anything with shaders looks amazing. Like, look at this city all the time that went into this and this isn't even the real thing either this is a recreation so you have to think someone had to completely recreate this entire thing just look how cool that structure is bro yeah really impressive stuff okay so we'll go to some of the fan favorites and some of the ones which i'm aware of so let's take a look let's go to fundy tone i'm sure a lot of you guys will want to see that now the coolest thing i like about this guys is the fact that there's a gigantic fox over here this is honestly super cool like i actually rate this build this is actually sick okay let's take a look and walk up so what's he actually built this out of i think this is made out of terracotta right especially with shaders look how cool that fox is that's actually a really cool like addition to this whole world this is obviously an smp so you can kind of see from the distance it's kind of like it's not entirely organized there's builds everywhere but they all kind of complement each other and make up this huge open like server hub it is just honestly so cool this house not really the best what wait what does this text say not secret base here <laughs> Okay, let's take a look inside the not-so-secret base, shall we? Dynamic light? Okay. So the interior of this guy's base, Fundy's base, is actually pretty cool. So it's a typical survival base. You're not looking at a creative world over here. Oh, got the physics mod. Damn, look how cool this water is. It looks super misty. Okay, so inside here, the light burns. We have some nether blocks which are ignited. Now, the items are just not in the chest because, remember, this is not the original world. Please do not touch. Oh, damn, he has some little kittens. That's cool. Okay, let's go up. So... There's many flights of stairs to get to the top, and then there's a gigantic ladder system. If you like... Oh, okay. Not reading that. <laughs> okay, what's at the top? Fundy smells. <laughs> that might have been an added touch by the people recreating the map. Damn, look how many torches are here. Imagine... Wait, this has got to illuminate really well at night time, right? Wait, let's set the time to night. Oh, damn. That actually looks pretty cool. Look how everything's just pitch black and the city just illuminates. Oh, wait, they've got a Christmas tree. This is actually weird because it's November and the next month is Christmas. This is actually pretty fitting. Okay, I don't know where I am. I'm not sure if this is like Fundy's build again, but just look how cool this is. Huge, big, giant candy canes. We even got a traveling trader over here with his two camels. Well, not camels. I'm pretty sure they're alpacas. And then this gigantic staircase, which leads up here into this dome. A lot of people are going to roast me in the comments for not knowing like what any of these locations are. Like I said, I've watched many of these YouTubers and I've watched a lot of the videos, but I don't actively follow like the map in the live stream. So forgive me if I'm not aware of all the locations, but that's what the comment section for. You guys can tell me like what I'm looking at. Greek Pantheon or Roman Pantheon. I think it's Greek Parthenon or something. There's so many nice builds here, but just think about this is an entire recreation. The person who was recreating this has had to have watched all the live streams and videos and recreated it by hand. So the world that it's in will probably be different and the seed will be different, but the builds are very similar. I'm not sure how many hours it would take to recreate all this stuff. Absolutely crazy. Also, we have a McDonald's. <laughs> they, have, they have a McDonald's. Wait, we've got to go in the McDonald's. Okay, look at a dynamic light. Okay, so we have McDonald's. So we can chill out and go to McDonald's. The inside, though, kind of reminds me more of Burger King. I don't know why. There's even a cash register made out of the step. I mean, the builds are not really advanced, but I like the creativity. This is the kind of Minecraft survival server which I would run. Like, simple builds that are just, like, funny and cool. Gigantic castle in the distance, which is probably one of the castles I could go to at the spawn, with some cool palm trees. This has actually got to be one of the coolest maps I've actually played so far. Okay, now we have to find where we came from. Okay, here's the button. Right, where are we going next? Bad Boy Halo's mansion. Okay, let's check out this dude's mansion. Oh, sick. Wait, I think we just saw this in the distance, right? So this whole thing just covered in redstone blocks, netherrack, everything's on fire. Oh, this is magma blocks on fire. Good. And loads of bamboo. That's an interesting design touch. Okay. 
Okay, I feel it. I feel it. And all these jack-o'-lanterns. I think this is a really nice build. Don't know about the jack-o'-lanterns, though. Okay, let's just take a look inside. So, we have a fence gate to go inside. So, I feel like an animal already. Tons of torches again. And I'm guessing the interior looks nicer on the server. So, this is a marble build. Okay, or quartz, because we don't really have marble in Minecraft. So we have quartz inside, we have coloured glass, we have staircase which goes up. This is a pretty grand mansion, dude. I really love coloured glass with shaders though. Like, we have the light refractions on it, the shadows, you can see all the light beaming in. Okay, top floor. So the floors are empty, and then there's a roof, which is completely made of obsidian. And from here we can see one of the other castles in the distance. Oh fallen down we can see one of the other castles in the distance which just completely dwarfs this build this mansion is impressive but just take a look at this castle this castle is just absolutely awesome okay let's go to the techno camp next okay this is the techno camp so a very skyrim-esque build again like a really classic build like i'd expect this to be like a norse house let's go inside not much lighting a ton of chests, really good sorting. Okay, I've got to rate that sorting system. We have a lantern and then just a random cow. Don't know why this cow's in here. A little bit of a surprise. And then a huge hole, which has no light either. Wait, okay, so that hole just drops down to an iron block. Okay, I don't want to drop that. I'll probably die. They could have done something about the ladders. I mean, they don't even connect. A pretty well-equipped place. Okay, we have like brewing stands, sawing mills, upgrade stations. A nice fire. I actually really like this fire. I might actually copy that build sometime. We have doors, which goes onto a walkway into the next house. And then we have, like, a little attic. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Uh, forget that happened. That's the physics mod. I, I don't remember touching the block, but... Apparently, the whole roof is caved in. I, I keep forgetting to disable the physics mod, and it just ruins all my worlds. <laughs> okay, let's get inside here. Right. I'm just going to place that sign there. Don't know why. Fence gate. Okay. A balcony with a fence gate, and we just fall off. Nice. So, this has been the dream SMP world and how to download and install it. I just thought this would be a pretty cool video idea because a lot of people want to play this map and they really just want to walk through and experience a lot of these builds and places they see in all these streams and videos on YouTube. So, if you like this video, Press the thumbs up. Drop the comments down below some of the places where I was that I had no clue what they were because I want to know what I was actually looking at. And also, let me know what your favorite places from this map in the comments section down below. And let me know what the coolest build was. If there's a few cool, interesting areas which I didn't take a look at in the video, you can download the map for yourself, linked in the description, and you can check them all out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.